wanted more. So we looked at what other successful people were supposed to be doing. So franchises were big, so we got into that. And then obviously real estate is always a big thing. You gotta own property. And all of a sudden uh, the economy crashed and we found ourselves losing our franchises, losing the houses, filing for bankruptcy and standing in food lines at church for food so that we wouldn't lose our house. There was a great thing that came out about that time called Craigslist. And we were literally selling everything that we had inside of the house to make payments. And um, Steph wanted to get her hair done. So we obviously probably sold something so that she could do that. And we own fitness franchises and they're like, well, it's this thing that you know makes fat disappear and it's a patch and it's amazing. And we're like, that's scientifically not possible. <laughs> I'm gonna go prove her wrong and she's gonna go try it. Once we put it on and saw results, I'm like, we're in. As soon as I left there, I called a friend and she wanted it too. And that was when I knew people want that instant gratification right now. And I kept calling people and they kept wanting it. And so that's kind of how God put it works into our life. We needed money now. That $500 a month that everybody talks about will save you from bankruptcy and foreclosure. That's actually what we started out for was that extra thousand dollars a month so that we didn't lose the house. We had our car repossessed out of the driveway right when we joined. These are actually food, food menus um, to different churches and food resources where you could get free food. <laughs> I got my makeup done too. Um, I have this as a reminder because there's so many people I think that just live paycheck to paycheck. And on the outside, we looked normal. People didn't know how badly we needed this opportunity. This, for me, I will never get rid of it because I know there's other people out there just like this. When we were going through and standing in food lines, we had no idea why we were going through that. We know now on the other side, it's so that we would have the ability to connect with everybody else that is standing in food lines, that are losing houses, that are losing businesses, that are having cars repossessed, that are filing for bankruptcy to go, look, we went through that. You're going through that right now. You can get to the other side. We fought to get there and it's like holding that trophy up to be like, we did it. And if us failures can do it, so many people are gonna do it. So, hmm. It's, you know, we were, it, this whole couple last days, it's like undescribable. Like what word can you want to say? It's amazing, but that's not even a good word to say amazing because. My favorite part of this whole <laughs> this is so time funny. is we get out and we're getting ready to take a picture at the plane. Just random guy jumps into a picture with all of us because he thought we were important because we came in on a private jet. $5,000 shopping carts with our names on it that said Black Diamond, which that's pretty cool right there. That's just frameable. It felt so good to walk in, grab whatever we wanted, and have the amazing shopping spree. It was time to cut loose and just go crazy. The best part was the swamp buggy going out in the mud and going so far into the muck that the muck actually dislodged the four wheel drive. I've never been on a helicopter. So that was both of our first time going to an island. My smile that day was just ear to ear, as big as it could be. Pictures, um, video that- Nothing does it justice yeah. at all. My favorite part about the island was me being on it. Everything else is always going to be there. The island's always gonna be there, but I'm not always gonna be there. So that was my favorite part. The island was me being on it. I loved hanging around the fire pit at night, hearing Mark and Cindy's journey that they had struggles too. We are completely different people today than we were six years ago. The most important thing about getting to Black Diamond is the amount of lives that you have to change to get here. But the person you become to get to Black Diamond you can go out and recreate through other people, which means you can go out and change a bunch of lives, which is what I think is probably the most important thing about getting to Black Diamond, is the amount of lives that you have to change to get here. I think about my daughter. Mm. I'm thinking, I'm not gonna give up on a dream because I want her, I want you to see that your dreams matter and to go after it. Um, and that you're worth it. Never give up.
dream bigger. I fight for it. Don't listen to anyone other than yourself and know that you're gonna have the same video someday. Uh, and I can't wait to see your video of you changing lives and inspiring other people just to go after it. We did it.